good day? Listen to that enthusiasm that you can just bust out at well. The purpose of this CPD was to initiate and encourage open forum discussions regarding good practice within behaviour management. Me, my name's Ben Povey, I'm the, I'm the Head of Behaviour or, or Behaviour Manager. Um, not my favourite title on earth because I don't actually think that that's what my job entails necessarily anymore. Uh, but well, good evening Miss Hallam, how are you? Have you? That's alright Miss, that's alright. Um, but yeah, we're going to... Uh, Basically, what tonight's going to be, I'm not going to stand here for the next half an hour and tell you how to manage behaviour. I'd love to be able to do that. Um, I haven't got all the answers. Although my title is, is sort of head of behaviour, I haven't got all the answers. I know it sounds like a little bit of a cop-out and like, oh yeah, nice one, Ben. Right, so what's the point of being here? But it's about us all discussing it, trying to get things out there and trying to learn from each other. And I know I'll definitely learn off everyone in here uh, because... You know, that's what it's all about. Okay, so uh, I'm going to throw you straight into a question. What I want you to do is, is I want you to work with the person next to you, and I just want to ask you this question. What does behaviour management mean to you? Okay, I've got my own view on that, that I'm going to sort of, that, 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 that'll relate to you. But um, just talk to the person next to you, spend a couple of minutes, having a bit of a discussion and a bit of a think, and make some notes if you want to. If you do need any paper or pens. Uh, have, have, have you got paper and pens, Mr. Taylor? No. Um, oh, oh. If you're not, it's like the kids. There you go. All right. Uh, just spend a couple of minutes just having, just having a, a little bit of a discussion. Take a moment now to pause the video and think about this question in depth. Okay, and time on that, please, folks. Okay. Anyone, anyone want to uh, volunteer to give out some ideas? Anybody at all? Yes, miss? We put, um, from two perspectives, sort of from a sort of strategic overview, we've looked at <coughs> ensuring the smooth organisation and running of the building yeah. and all the people within it so okay. that everyone's safe and so people can learn. So that's like an environmental yeah. thing. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Okay, anyone else? We said about promoting positive behaviours. <sighs> yeah, great. Yeah, so so promoting those positive behaviours through what? Through through, through modelling it ourselves or a bit both really and and um, modelling other students' behaviours and yeah. showing those that are not quite modelling that behaviour that you would desire. All right, brilliant. Thanks very much. Anyone else? Miss Hallam. Hello. Hi. Uh, we've got following sanctions and reward policies in school. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so Louise picked out not just awarding behaviour points, but awarding achievement points to the grey students that we talk about all the time. Absolutely. So. Yeah, so trying to make it positive rather than being negative all the time. Outstanding. Brilliant. Anyone else? We thought expectations, uh, what, what we expect from young people, what young people expect from us. And we had a discussion about everybody's standards are different, so yeah. that could sometimes cause a problem. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, it can be, yeah, and that's why we have to sort of change it for each person, each, each individual. Anyone else got anything on that? Uh, often, um, when um, you call out on call to situations, you diffuse it emotions, um, often angry emotions, so mm. sometimes you diffuse it in a situation yeah. and dealing with that anger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's a, it's a, yes, Miss uh, Miss Cochran. I was just going to say um, that um, we think it's also looking at you know modification of behaviour for a long term goal in terms of you changing behaviour in order to um, for that behaviour to um, match the certain situation, be mm -hmm. it in the classroom, be it in the corridors, be it out in the community. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so it's, as well. Yeah, so there's so many different areas to art. There's the, there's the behavioural side of it, the actual physical behaviours themselves, there's the emotional side, the environmental side, and then, of course, trying to keep it as positive as we can do, because if it gets too negative, then we all get bogged down, don't we? And it gets really, really difficult. So I said I'd give you my sort of take on it, and if you want to put your hand up and say, Ben, that's a load of rubbish, please feel free. But the way I view it is this, and there's two words, there's attitude and there's behaviour, OK? I personally believe that you can use the truck and trailer analogy for this. So attitude for me is the driving force. I believe that, that though, and, 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 and this is where I come back to what we're saying about my title, I don't necessarily believe my title is behaviour manager anymore. I don't believe I necessarily manage behaviour. What I believe is that I arm our pupils and try and give them the right attitude so that the, so that the attitude becomes the driving force. And then I believe that behaviour is the byproduct. Okay, and then if you can get your attitude right, or if your attitude's poor, I believe that your behaviour follows on. 
Okay. A wonderful, wonderful piece of uh, piece of animation there. I'd like to credit that to Mr. Bridge at the back there. If I'd like to give him a round of applause, thank you very much. Okay. The aims of our session are to explore behaviour strategies in school, both good and bad. I want us to have a look at the things that work and the things that don't work, and to share good practice. That's it. That's that. That's all I basically want to do this evening. Again, like I say, I haven't got all the answers. You know, what works for me won't necessarily work for everyone in the room. But it's just about sharing our ideas and sharing good practice and seeing if we can pick things up from each other. Okay. So, pair work time or working in your groups, I know, because we haven't got perfect pairs. Spend some time with the person next to you discussing what behaviour strategies we have in school, what works and what doesn't work. Okay? What works, maybe split your page in half. What works, what doesn't work in school. Okay? You've got about five minutes. Okay, let's have a chat. I just, I just heard you use an achievement point. No, we said it can work. <laughs> it, can it can work, work. Yeah, 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 as long as it's uh, given in the right way. I think because yeah. some of them, like, you know, like 11E mm. uh, and 9E, I know yeah. they're not the, particularly the ones we should be giving them all to. But no. They are responding to them like yeah. that. Yeah. And that sort of links in with what Miss Hallam was saying, wasn't it? On the, it right. the, that because they're the most challenging kids, when they have a good lesson, you want, you want, you want to reward them so that it can happen again. Whereas the grey area, because they just plod along and you don't, and you don't really see that much from them, they just get forgetting, don't they? Yeah. And it is really difficult. I've been stuck. Well, I've started to do it, especially with Dylan and Jack in the mm -hmm. um, We're doing an exam today, and I said, uh, for some parts of this exam, you will get achievement points if you can do this. If you can. Do this. Oh, that's a really good. That's a really good Using idea. Well, to trying to build that in. To trying to build that in. <coughs> How are we getting on, folks? Are we okay? Yeah, we're yeah. talking about the name and free tick strategy. Yeah. How it quite often doesn't work when you've got a large yeah. class and lots yeah. of people talking and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, 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 no. It is an hard one, that. Yeah. Matt, do you know what you said before about attitude? Yeah. That is my issue. It's not yeah. behaviour issue. Mm. I don't actually think I've got any classes that are particularly badly behaved. No, it's just that their attitude towards attitude being in there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's always a driving force. It is, it, it, it is just a byproduct. I suspect in a lot of cases, some of, some of the kids that I've got lack mm -hmm. that much confidence and they're so scared of actually yeah. committing anything to paper. Yeah, absolutely. They'll do anything to avoid it. Yeah. But that doesn't help me when I'm trying to teach them. No, no, I know. I know. No, no, I know. No, 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 it doesn't. It is. It is. And, and, and like I said, I haven't got the answer for that. I haven't got the answer. You know all the... Like 988, we can that class. Yeah. I don't even think it's that. They're bothered about stuff to pay for it. Because when they do the work, they do actually do the work, but they just don't show up. I know. And, and, and that is one of my biggest challenges, isn't it? It's just getting them to shut up half the time. I have that in the unit as well. If we just hold it there, if we just get the last of our ideas down, um, I've put on the board, works, can we all see that by the way? Are we all good to see that? I'm just, I know it's a bit dark over here. Um, so we've got works and, and, and doesn't work. Does anyone want to give us some that do work? Anybody? Not being patient and calm with, it, with um, students who are not being patient and calm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, anybody else? Developing a sort of good relationship with students, you know, getting one-to-one -one Brilliant. Small group. Brilliant, miss. Just going off that, um, the structured achievement point, um, because we use, we like to use the achievement points to obviously reward the great kids, but also to use it as a tool with people like John and yeah. uh, I use it in a way that I don't give them one every lesson. They have to yeah. behave for four lessons solid to achieve right. that point. Okay. So it's the challenge for the week then, and by the end of the week, they ask you, have I achieved it? Okay. Weekly challenge. Okay, brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant, that. That's a great idea. I'm going to nick that, thank you. Um, okay. Anybody else? Yeah, we talked about um, being aware of your own behaviour, about the tone of your voice, your body language, mm -hmm. so that's about modelling. Fantastic. That you expect. Thank you, miss. Okie dokie, yeah. Anybody else? Catching them doing something right and then rewarding them for it when they've done something right. So looking for those positives. Positive reinforcement. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Anybody else at all yeah. on what works? Within your faculty as well. Sharing Oopsie. information on individuals. Okay. Within your faculties or within your meetings. Sorry, Miss Fatarecci, I wasn't ignoring anything. 
we use um, timers not just to like if you've got a, a task that you want done in a certain amount of time, but we put them on the board. And if there's any talking, instead of just shouting, just whack the timer on, stand there quietly, and they all know. And I do when it gets right. five minutes, it gets doubled. So they all know. So I stop it two minute fifty nine. They know if it has to go on again, it gets doubled, and they get kept six minutes. And oh, then right. if they behave, you can knock minutes off it that way. That's what we all do in the faculty. Anyway. Right. Okay. Um, how how would you like to word that, Miss? Timers. Timers. <laughs> Super <laughs> deeper. There we go. Any <laughs> more for work at all? Bribes. Bribes. Treats. Treats. I think we'll put. Um, I, I'm going to put. I'm going to put one on there, and this is one that sounds a bit bizarre. I'm going to put good old-fashioned ignorance sometimes can help because a lot of our kids are going for attention, aren't they? So just trying to ignore it a little bit. A little bit of ignorance goes a long way. Okay. Um, does anybody want to give me one that doesn't work? <coughs> that doesn't work. Can we add one that's one that does about especially outside agency support, like anger management, youth Okay, outside agency. Yeah. Anyone want to give me one that doesn't work? Screaming. Screaming. <laughs> Thank goodness that was the first one, rock and roll. Although, although, has got its place, has got its place, but yeah. Okay, anything else? Empty threats. Empty yeah, threats. You threaten, then you it I remember when I first came, um, I, I, I used to work with a number of people, and the amount of times I heard, if you don't stop doing that, I'm going to send you to Mr Povey. And the amount of time that it, that it just never happens, so it just get reinforced and reinforced and reinforced. Uh, that they, you know, children outside classrooms for prolonged periods, it just causes other issues. Okay. And um, we've, we've said about um, the use of the head department, because obviously you follow the structure where you send them to your head department mm -hmm. or you ask your head department to come out and speak to mm -hmm. them, which is really useful because then they respect that member of mm -hmm. staff. But then that takes away your authority sometimes right. and it also it, it interacts on their lesson to where then something could then go wrong in their class so right. too much use of it, the head department okay. can impact on too much use okay I reckon uh, sarcasm doesn't work Sarcasm doesn't work. Yeah, but again, and again, all of these things. Uh, yeah, it all depends on the individual because some of these here, some of these here might work for some people but don't work for others. Some of the ones here might need to be over here for other people. So there's, it, that's like I say, there's just, there's just huge, huge grey areas in this and that's why it's so wonderful doing a CPD like this because I just go, oh well, I haven't got all the answers so it's over to you. So, you know, so not all of these are always in these, in these two categories. Miss Cochrane. Acting like one of them. Acting like one of them. Okay, miss, can, can you... I mean, like, acting like they're acting. Oh, right. Works. <laughs> <laughs> acting like a child. I'll, well, miss, I've made a career out of it, so... <laughs>